Hey everybody. <clears throat> so I made a homemade lo mein, which I will show you. I had leftovers like when I boot when I boot when I buy produce, um, I have a lot left over. So I used it all. I had Brussels sprouts from the other day. So I used Brussels sprouts and I used the carrots. Um, would be nice with some mushrooms. I really when I get vegetables I like to make stir fries or like um, I use it with pasta or I put it, you know, I want to start making more fried rice. That was a lot of fun. So I used the Brussels sprouts, I used the carrots, and I used the snap peas that I had and the onions um, and some green peppers and some parsley. I put, <clears throat> um, I did some spaghetti noodles. Here, I'll show you what I made. Right here, it's a homemade lo mein. That's how it looks. So like I said, I used all of that. Then I also used some shrimp and I had a hot, a hot dog too. I didn't want to waste it, so I actually put a hot dog in there as well. I cut it up in little pieces. I wish I had um, some like crushed peanut, like peanuts, because I'd crush it over there. So I used parsley instead of cilantro. I don't have cilantro. Um, I also made. <clears throat> I also just took a little um, bowl and I put some peanut, creamy peanut butter in it, and some soy sauce and some honey and brown sugar. I didn't really measure it out. I just did it whatever. And I stirred that all together, and and I put it in the stir in the stir fry, and added some water too. I put some ginger in it, some ground ginger, some <clears throat> um, Chinese five, five spice, and I also did some red chili pepper flakes, and um, what else did I use? Some pepper and some some salt. And right now I have some so so ugh, sriracha, and I have a lime. I thought I was going to squeeze over this. And I also have some soy sauce. This is lime flavor. It's the only kind I have right now. So let's try it. Squeeze some lime over it. Okay. Mm, I, don't like, I don't know. I just, you know, I just do things. I don't really use a recipe. I'm going to put some of this soy sauce on it. Even though, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do have soy sauce in it. But I'll put some more in it. So a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. All right. Oh, I also put some sesame oil on it too, and sesame seeds. I had sesame seeds in it. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I haven't even tasted this yet. Just this little squirt of this. <laughs> oh man, look. Let me take a picture of this with my phone so I can put it on Instagram. Hold on. All right. So I really have no idea how this is gonna taste. But like I said, I always, when I just make stir fries when I get shrimp or whatever, like, that's just what I do. I just make stir fries, you know, so, and it was really nice because um, when I was cooking, uh, I had the TV on and Jeopardy was playing and it just, the, the sound of Jeopardy, do, 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 it just sounds so cozy and homey. And I'm like, you know, that's nice. So let's try, this is just the spaghetti. I have a shrimp right here and I have a snap pea. See, you know, you could use any kind of things. You could use zucchini, um, like, oh, I put sprouts in it too, bean sprouts. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I like this so much. This is so delicious. This is amazing. It's amazing, guys. It tastes delicious. I taste the sriracha. I taste like, you know, right now I taste the sriracha, but the lime juice really brings it up. And it just, it tastes creamy. Like the peanut butter coating gives it a really good kick. Um, I really need peanuts. I wish I had some crushed pe peanuts because it's kind of like a, like a Thai style. Mmm. Okay, that was just noodles. Ooh, this is so good. Next time I'm gonna get some cilantro. Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. I'm trying to think of other things that would taste good with this. I have some carrots. It looks like a ginger, actually. Piece of ginger, onion. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I put garlic too. Mm. 
That was a piece of ginger. Wow. That's extreme. It tastes so good. Asparagus would taste good with this. You could also use some cabbage, some bok choy for that crunch too. You know? This is like, it tastes like real legit um, lo mein. Mmm. This is so delicious. And I have a lot left over. When I cook, I make such a mess. <laughs> this is so good, though. I can't believe it. I'm going to cook like this more often. Fried rice. And then you use the um, leftovers to make... Mmm. Mmm. I can't believe this. I really make some good meals. Mike's missing out. So, I'm going to try a hot dog. See how that tastes. Yeah, this is amazing. You know, oh, I love it. It's like, would it taste good with some Parmesan cheese, do you think? Or is that too weird? I don't know. There's a piece of hot dog. You see it? Mmm. 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 Yeah, the hot dog, I taste it. Kind of weird, but... <laughs> hey, it works, you know? I can't believe this. This is delicious. I have to make some for other people. I want my mom to try it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm definitely making this more often. Put it. Mm, sorry. It's so easy to make. Like sometimes I'm iffy about getting produce because I'll make it for one thing and then, you know, I won't. I don't want to waste it, but this one you can make it. I wish I had more crunchy stuff to put. It. I have a bunch of lo mein noodles, <coughs> but I ate them all as a snack. You know those crunchy lo mein. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. I just tasted the Brussels sprout. Look at this. This is so good. It really tastes light and citrusy. I'm, I'm trying to wonder what else would taste good in this. I don't know. Mm. Cilantro would definitely. Yeah, I made a mess. <laughs> Taste of carrot, peas. You can put that cold peas in that corn. I don't know. Whatever you think. Mm. The hot dog tastes a little weird, but it's still good. You can use some spam, fried up <coughs> spam, if you want to make a Hawaiian style. Mm. Pineapples. Mm. Definitely making this again. Mm. I'm glad that I made this because I was like, I worked today and I was so tired and we were actually going to go to KFC. I was going to go with my parents. I was like, I have stuff. I'm just going to make a stir fry. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. 
and it's not like overpowering the peanut butter. It's actually like it. It just mixed, blended in good. Mmm. So yesterday, um, oh, baby corn would taste good too. I love baby corn. That'd be good. Mm. This is delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can taste the ginger, you know. So good. I am proud of myself. Oh my god. You know, you don't need to follow recipes, just do your own, you know? You can mix honey soy sauce. Oh, I mix it with brown sugar. Peanut butter, make your own sauce, you know? <clears throat> That's what I do. Chicken, you can use. Mm. I have this left. Just a little bit. There's a shrimp in there, a snap pea. Brussels sprout carrot. See. Mmm, so good. Mmm, and there's tons with that pea, that snap pea. I have to cook for Shannon. Cook for my friends. Cook for Mike. If he'll appreciate it. Um, I have to work so early tomorrow at 3. I mean, at 6 in the morning. Mmm. Mmm. Celery. Celery would taste good. I can't the whole thing. Mmm. Mmm. The Brussels sprouts. I cut the Brussels sprouts up, you know. Let me put this in the sink and I'll talk and then... Don't mind when I'm wearing my flannels, like long john. I still have a lot left. I'm starting to get chilly out here, so. I have cranberry juice. Mm. I still can't believe it. That's delicious. I also have some miso soup because sometimes I have a little bit of soup here. Wow, I'm gonna make that meal more often. <clears throat> it's so like easy to make, you know, and just a lot of fun. So <laughs> maybe um, I'll do a video of me cooking. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do that, but I still feel like I could eat more. <laughs> you know, I'm still like hungry. But I'm gonna save that for uh for tomorrow. I also have mush squash. I'm gonna go get it. Hold on. Hold on. Well, you could see me get up. I don't know. Sometimes I think it's kind of neat to see the person go and get it. <clears throat> so I have mush squash. I want to get really decorative, like, um, because I see that you could get a decorative type stuff and, like, a little spoon. You know, um, you don't need too much of this. <clears throat> you know, let me get a spoon. You, you really don't want too much because you're going to mouth full of seed, you know, just a little bit. And I think it's like all kinds of different seeds that help digestion. Like there's carol, caroling, um, fennel, like some sugar coated, they have like a color of it. Um, it's an Indian thing. Like you eat this, chew on it after a meal and it's just supposed to help. So, but it's really dry. So. Pretty good though. Um, it tastes like licorice. I think they have that like anise in it. I like that. Mm. So I'm trying to eat this after meal. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching. I got this off of Amazon and I ordered it. So, try ordering it. Eat a little bit after your meal. It even helps with your breath, you know. It's, and it's just good. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs>